Ted, in 2013, I had prayed to God to bring the man of my dreams into my life, not knowing he already did the year prior. When I first met you in Albany that night, I never would have imagined our lives looking the way it does now, but I am so grateful that our paths crossed again years later and have led us on this journey together. Jessica Lynn, I love you more than words can describe. It's like we've been together for a lifetime, but it also feels like just yesterday when you walked into my life and changed my world. I remember the moment I first laid eyes on you. You stole my attention immediately, and maybe that's why the only thing I could say at the time was she's a problem. Over the past five years, I want you to know that you've shown me how wrong I really was. You're not a problem, baby. You're my solution. Covenant is 100% Jess. You've heard me say this, and 100% Ted. Covenant does not deal in better halves. Covenant is all about two whole people who commit to one another and multiply the depth, values, quality, and potentials that lie within this union. After Jesse moved to Charlotte and she started telling me about her and Ted's budding relationship, I had a feeling that this was going to be something special. And I think a lot of people thought that as well. Even before I shared those thoughts with my husband and we were talking about my sister and Ted, my husband Sean said, I bet you they're going to get married. And here we are now. T Ted is the perfect match for my sister. He's reliable, fun, thoughtful, and driven. He fits in right, fits in perfectly with my family and is able to handle our activity packed vacations and our competitive game nights. If I could just have the person responsible for bringing these two together tonight, can you just stand up please? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm standing already. My fault, my fault. So Teddy had graduated a year earlier than myself, so he came up to visit and we were at just his sorority house. So Jess walks in and, and Teddy's sitting on the couch next to me. And he goes, Dave, who's that? I'm like, that, that's Jess. What do you mean, who's that? And the famous words, she's a problem. I said, okay, all right. The big words, Ted, you haven't even said hi to her yet. So I make the introduction and little did we all know that Teddy was planting a very long seed that would come to fruition years later. So Jess and I stayed in touch throughout the years. And she's texting me saying, you know, I'm thinking about moving to the Carolinas. So I, I say, do you remember Ted? And obviously if somebody says she's a problem, you're gonna remember who that person was. And it's very, very hard not to remember who Teddy is. Teddy and Jess formally invited you out here, but I'm the one that gathered you here tonight. Father, we thank you for these wonderful people. We thank you for who they are and who they're becoming. And as you've always told me, they are blessed in your name and no weapon formed against them will prosper. Disease and pestilence will not come against them. They're champions and overcomers. They will live and not die. They will live spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. They will grow with wisdom and stature and have favor with God and man. There are angels above them, below them, and all around them. In the name of the Lord.
said that we find our better half in a partner, but I truly believe you have helped me grow and become the best and complete version of myself. Together, we are two holes that balance each other out in the areas that we are not strong in. Where I worry, you bring a sense of calmness. Where I follow my head, you help me follow my heart. I was just a piece of a man when we first connected. Because of you, I'm now whole. Today I stand before you complete, captivated by your beauty, amazed by your intuition, engaged by your brain, in love with your heart, and lost in your eyes. I look forward to starting this new chapter with you today and adding to our list of memories. Growing a family together with you by my side will be my ultimate blessing. I can't wait to make you a father because I already know you will be the best dad to our little babies. And this will be a new chapter for us with new challenges, but I'm confident in our ability to be a team and lean on one another. Before God, family, and friends, I vow to always put the cat back on the toothpaste when you leave it off. <laughs> I promise to laugh with you when we're happy, cry with you when we're sad, and feed you before you get hangry. More importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally, to be faithful and supportive through adversity and triumph, sunshine and rain. I vow to put us first and make sure we are constantly working to, to grow together as we build our life from this day on and continue to learn from each other to be patient, kind, forgiving, and most importantly, less stubborn. And I'm working on that one. Mm -hmm. I will do my best to put the cap back on the toothpaste and be the one to kill the spiders and flying insects for you. <laughs> it's been me and you no matter what, and it always will. And lastly, I vow to make you smile every day because your smile can light up a room, but for me, it lights up my world. You guys ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> so by the power invested in me from our God above in the state of South Carolina. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please, sir, will you kiss your bride? Yes, sir. <laughs> Would you all join me in welcoming for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Edouard Fayeton. You've got my heart beating at a different pace Boy, you're my obsession And I can't get enough This is my confession I'm captured by your love Captured by your love
Okay, where do I start? I guess when Arlene told me that we were having another girl. At first, I was a little disappointed because I wanted a, a boy. But when you first I thought about it and said, you know, I got to get with it. She's just too I cute. I mean, when I picked her up and she had these big brown eyes and curly brown hair, I just fell in love with her. So from that moment on, I just kept loving her and taking her with me. And next thing I know, she was my little buddy. One day I says to her, Jesse, I just wish you would always stay little. And she goes, don't worry, Daddy. I'll stay little for you. And you made it down the aisle. The men who move a mountain stop by carrying away a small stone. Therefore, instead of thinking about those long plans, start concentrating on those days and weeks. Working hard, taking time, sharing those little secrets, okay? And those are the little stones that will help you build your 10, 25 years anniversary, your empire. No sure thing. I am sure I want to live it with you If you look into my eyes When our time down here is spent it's in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end Over the past five years, you've shown me what true love feels like and every morning I wake up and fall more in love with you. Saying yes to spending my life with you was the easiest and quickest decision I've ever made. And everybody knows how hard decision making is for me. Yeah. You're my best friend, you're my foundation, and you're my world. I choose you, baby. Not just today, for all the days I have left, and beyond. I look forward to a marriage with you full of love, laughter, fun, of course dancing, dancing and snuggling. You're my one and only. I love you today. I'll love you tomorrow. I'll love you forever.